This is Jonas from the Solution Center in Tokyo. Uh, we're going to go through some of the Redfish scripts uh, available for PowerShell users today. We now place them in the, the Documents folder uh, for this user. And um, you can see there's several scripts. We've got four of them in this case. Each script is in a folder with the same name as the script itself. And for these to be accessible later on, we're going to uh, rename these folders, or at least the top one, to Windows PowerShell. And then we create a subfolder called Modules. And in there, we place all of these scripts and their respective directories. So if we look at it from um, the command line uh, with the tree command, you can see the, uh, the layout of these folders. And if we have it like this, autocomplete will work later on when we use PowerShell. We're going to um, have a look at this script here first. This is for um, firmware update. We open PowerShell IC so we can, uh, can view the script and just drag and drop that in there. As you can see, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of code in this. It's a fairly long script. It's been provided by uh, Texas Remmer, just like um, most of the Python scripts. It's fairly involved. You got, what is it, 385 lines of code. We won't go through all of this. Instead, we'll focus on how to use it to um, change settings and uh, modify servers with SCP server configuration profiles. First of all, before we start, we need to make sure our environment is set up properly. So uh, we'll have a look at um, the PowerShell settings. If I can spell to power. We open that as an administrator. And first of all, we check the version of uh, PowerShell. We use uh, get host to view the version of PowerShell. And it's 5.1, we're running it on Windows 10. Uh, 5.0 will work as well, but anything below that will not work. So we'll also check the execution policy, which is in this case set to restricted. We need to modify that. So uh, we're going to use uh, set execution policy. And we set it to remote signed. And just to verify the setting there. And now we're ready. With these settings, we can uh, start using the commandlets. <laughs> 